it's uh, Andrew here from Enhanced Dimensions. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to another tutorial from the flight path in Edinburgh. I'm just uh, checking out the planes as they go by here in my little attic room. And um, today's uh, tutorial is going to go into using displacement maps um, to create a slightly more organic, rounded 3D effect uh, within After Effects. So the kind of uh, video we're going to create is uh, something a little like this. So as you can see, it's got a nice, as I said, a nice organic effect to it. It would be pretty difficult, if not impossible, to create that within um, After Effects simply by using 3D layers and trying to layer them one behind each other. It's just you couldn't get uh, quite a quite a, such a pleasant rounded effect from it. So as I said, this is going to use uh, displacement maps, and if you've not read about displacement maps, you can have a have a look into them. Um, you can find out information, a lot of information about them online. Um, but let's just go ahead and, and get started with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import my files. So I have, um, I've already prepared all my tutorial files and, oh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll ignore that. Uh, I've prepared my tutorial files and we'll go into here and we'll have a look at what I've prepared. I have the spiral effect device that we're going to animate and I'm going to bring that in as a composition and that's got the two layers let's change the background color on that to a color we can see and you'll see that's got the two layers on it we've got the spiral in the front and the spikes behind that the reason I've left it as two uh, separate layers is you could you might want to um, animate them in opposing directions or all sorts just to create different effects in this particular instance I'm actually going to uh, just animate it in one direction so I'm going to just go ahead and do that animation now I'm just going to do a very very simple rotation so the first frame set a keyframe on both of them and at the end maybe do it two rotations so in effect all we've got is we've got this nice spiky rotatey I'm not quite sure what it is maybe some strange strange tunnel one thing to watch out for is uh, you can see the edges are starting to get cropped off there and we don't want that so let's scale it down just a little to make sure that the edges don't get cropped off anywhere uh, that looks fine yep okay so that's our basic animation for that thing um, next we'll do a, a new composition and this composition is going to be our well I guess our final comp that we're going to use or our final size so we're going to do at standard HD uh, resolution in 25 frames a second because I'm working in Europe um, so we'll go OK with that and let's call that one left if you've done some of my tutorials before you'll you know, the general premise of this is to create a left image and a right image and then to combine those two to create the, the 3D effect. If you've not seen my previous tutorials, maybe um, take a chance, uh, take some time and have a look. Um, you can look at my tutorials at www.enhancedDimensions.com and they go through the, the basics of creating uh, stereoscopic 3D views for both anaglyph viewing and for the likes of YouTube that uses um, left and right images um, next to each other in the same file. So, first thing we're going to do is build this left image um, and I'm going to import my remaining items. I'm going to import my background at this point. In fact, I won't, I won't bring in the bump map yet or the displacement map. So I'm going to chuck in my background as this is just really there for effect to have something way off in the distance and um, to really make the 3D effect, to sell the 3D effect I'm just going to scale this up, the quality of this doesn't really matter too much, it doesn't matter what you put there it just kind of helps to have something that, that can sit way off in the distance and then over that I'm going to put the 3D spiral so if we just check, yep that's pretty much exactly what I'm after and now that we've created the left view 
um, from here we're going to duplicate that and we'll call that right and then let's select the left and right compositions and we'll make a new composition with both those and again just make some single composition don't sequence layers and we'll okay that that appears to be the 2140 flight possibly from London coming into Edinburgh all looks well I'm just give them a little wave yep they all seem happy um, okay and that's called right too what we're gonna do is we're gonna call that anaglyph now anaglyph is the red blue kind of glasses well it's actually various colored glasses that you can use we'll use the same format um, left actually goes on the top there so we're going to select left and right and we're going to go effect channel set channels and for the left channel we're going to um, switch off the green and switch off the blue I'm not going to go through any detail on this and on the right we're going to switch off the red I'm not going through detail as I said if you want to know more do um, feel free to look at some of the other tutorials and the left on the mode we're going to set to add and there as you can see we're pretty much back to um, back to where we were when we started so however we now have our compositions we've got our left composition our right composition which is currently identical and the anaglyph composition which is actually got the two images over each other Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock the anaglyph com composition so that I can just see this there's a, a multitude of ways you can do this and also there's certainly better ways that you can build tools um, that you can reuse but for this tutorial we're just doing it quite quick and dirty um, so the anaglyph version here um, first thing I'm going to do I'm going to pop on my 3D glasses suggest you do the same nice pair of red and blue ones uh, actually enhanced dimensions we um, can supply some pretty funky uh, uh, aviator style ones that can last you for some time as opposed to those cheap and nasty uh, blue and paper card ones um, okay the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to jump into that right image and because we still have the anaglyph uh, composition locked anything we do here will take a little moment to actually appear so in terms of what we're going to do now is we're going to move this right background um, over to the right which will in effect create the illusion of it moving um, if it into the screen so there I've done it once twice sorry that's that's 20 pixels um, I think that's 20 pixels let's have a look actually uh, position um, that's 9, 980 that might be 20 or 40 pixels anyway you can see the effect that's it's had it's, it's immediately moved into the screen okay now we're going to do the now we're going to do the really exciting bit so what we're going to do now is we're going to import the displacement map now as you can see with the displacement map here it's simply a black and white file where um, the luminosity of the pixel is going to distort the pixel in this image and by it distorting it either left or right it and it creates the 3d effect for us so I'll bring that in and I'll pop it down here oh, I've jumped into the right composition that's fine for the moment we don't need to to do anything actually while you've um, got your 3d glasses on which I assume you have um, why don't I have a, a little look at this this is uh, this is the joys of the joys of parenthood. Um, here is my rather strange son um, acting rather strangely.